برضو متحدثنا التالي هو شريك مؤسس ورئيس التنفيذي لشركة Green Circle وعضو مجلس إدارة في الجمعية الأردنية التوعوية لحماية المعلومات ورح يحكي لنا عن قصته كيف, كيف صار خبير بالسايبر سيكيورتي رحبوا معانا بالمهندس محمد الخضري شكرا I'll start with my story in cyber security and there is a lot of lessons I want to transfer to my colleagues and uh, to the market actually. So I'll go directly into how I started this career, uh, starting in the technology, IT, uh, working in multiple uh, companies. Uh, so I'll talk about my journey and the market look and how we can access actually the market, how we can use the new tools, how we can really uh, be more uh, uh, focused into our future. So during my career, I started as, you know, anybody in the, in the university with courses, professional courses, trying to get into, you know, I don't know the future. Going to where, what should I work uh, as, as a computer engineer, I don't know exactly. Is there a job called computer engineer? There wasn't, okay? But I started learning these courses, professional courses, and just wanted to focus on one thing, yeah? I want a decent job. I don't, you know, after this university, because I really ha want to wor work hard, I want to learn more, I want to get access into a decent job. I access the market. I, I started working in multiple companies. I, I went into uh, HP with Packard Enterprise. I got a lot of courses in Cisco, uh, systems, uh, Unix, Solaris, a lot of systems I got certified. I started as a pre-sales consultant. Then I, I started working as a technical engineer. Later, I find out that I did well in my certifications and I became a solution architect, integrating multiple IT solutions, network, storage, applications. And I find out the challenge with the IT, really. There is a lot of layers within IT in, in general. So you need to deal with the network. Network has a details. Uh, there is IB telephony. There is a lot of, uh, you know, equipments there. Then we worked at servers, servers, storage, there is a virtualization, then there is the systems, there is the cloud. And there we, we learned something that although the market is, is really clear, so in the storage we have a specific vendors, for example, okay, there is a main vendors, in the servers there is the same, on the cloud there is the same, in the network side. So we have two, three vendors in each uh, domain. Later when I started you know, learning and moving to cybersecurity because of the, you know, the business and demand, I became CEO of a company in cybersecurity. I founded another company in 2017. This is a green circle in, in cybersecurity where we wanted to develop more cybersecurity. I faced another challenge. Here, yes, there is a lot of layers in the technology. There is, but still there is you know, main vendors and there is a layers that's built for the information technology. We know that, you know, we bought storage from one of these main vendors. We are on the cloud on either Amazon, Alibaba, or, uh, uh, or uh, Microsoft. There is, you know, like, there is a, a place to go and to find that to get a certification. Uh, in cybersecurity, this is not the case, okay? There's 25 domains. There is a huge, you know, uh, number of technologies, integrations, risks. There is the compliance, there is the threat intelligence, there's the SOCOS integrations, there is, there is really, you know, a huge number of vendors. Yes, this is representing a big opportunity in the market. There is, you know, in the Middle East, there is more than $20 billion uh, of business in the cybersecurity. There is almost in the worldwide, almost 600, that's including the tools and manpower, 600 billion. It's a huge market, yeah? And there is a gap of manpower. There is 3.5 million job vacancy. There is a lot of people who are nowadays studying this cyber security, AI and everything, but they don't know. They're, we are in the back into this situation. We don't know what should, what, what should I work? Which job? What is the job definition? Uh, there are a lot of people thinks that this is cyber security is hacking, attack, uh, you know, being a, a, a certified uh, hacker or uh, uh, ethical hacker. 
Actually, this is not true. Again, out of 25 job within cybersecurity, you need to choose one. You need to choose your specialization, how you will work within this cybersecurity. And focus is the key to access this market. At the same time, we learned the three principles, and this is where I want to talk about Zero to Hero. We came to a program to Jordan here. After a lot of practices, learning, especially with the universities, when I first I founded my company, started with the two centers. First, the Middle East Cyber Center of Excellence in Princess Sumaya University, and there is a SOC center that's Shmagh SOC within um, uh, Jordan University of Science and Technology. Why? Because we want resources. Our big threat in the market is the lack of resources. 3.5 million job vacancy in the cybersecurity in 2023, today. There is nobody to fill these uh, jobs. At the same time, there is a lot of universities having graduates in the cybersecurity wanted to access the market. Then where is the key? Who can access the market? With the jobs in the cybersecurity, there is, again, there is a lot of jobs that's known. And uh, I want to show this video about the expectation and reality on the uh, cybersecurity jobs. Please. an der Wall Street für einen eher zurückhaltenden Wochenstart gesorgt. Wie sind die Ringer fällt der Einfluss auf die deutsche Börse auf? Profitieren von der robusten Konjunktur. Reality? <lacht> We will work in Gordon Kelly. So the reality is different always. So people are imagining that, you know, going to cybersecurity is going to be you know, funny and we will hack and this is what happened. It is not, really. You need to have, you know, a lot of knowledge. You need to have the coding, boring maybe times. This is a reality about maybe any job. There is nothing easy and there is nothing difficult as well. So within the cybersecurity, you know, jobs, careers, there is a lot of uh, different uh, domains. So the people who are working in auditing cannot work on, for example, in consulting. And these people cannot work in operations. You need to define which domain within cybersecurity you need to choose. And now I want to talk about salaries. Yes, there is a huge salaries here. This is the biggest demanding market. And this salary is based on the uh, commonly the biggest demands in the area, Dubai, Riyadh, uh, Qatar. Uh, and you can imagine that nearly we can, we, we're reaching this in the critical sectors even in Amman. So these salaries reaching into $200,000 uh, yearly for chief information security man uh, manager or officer is, is uh, uh, really, and this is average, okay? So there is higher, there is lower, it's depending on the market uh, uh, sector and the demand. Uh, so there is the SOC manager who's operating the SOC, there is the security architect, the SOC analyst, the penetration tester, the compliance sp specialist. So this kind of jobs is available today. And it has always a shortage. We as companies are always looking for uh, people who have the skills, the skills to do these activities, okay? And hence, we developed this program, Cyber Zero to Hero, to combine all our initiatives, activities, experience, and just transfer it to students, to universities, to make sure that we can get these quality people, quality engineers, uh, who can support the business in the future and support the digital transformation, support this uh, uh, business everywhere. So in, in this Cyber Zero to Hero, there is three uh, case program we call. Know your business. First, you need to know this business. You need to know that this is the market. Who's the competitor? Where is these vendors? This is what we want to see with each and every student or each and every employee who's going to access the market. Even if you are entrepreneur, you need to do that. You need to know it. This is a point that 
everybody needs to discuss it. Even if you know the details of having commands or securing coding or uh, penetration or intelligence or whatever, you need to know who's competing with whom and what is the market, where we can get these jobs and how we can access it. Second, no, uh, and this is really important. Second is the know your career to know your actual uh, jobs within this uh, business. So what track you should follow, yeah? So at the end, you need to be within one of these tracks, not all the tracks. You will not learn everything about uh, everything, all industries. And the third point is know your job. If you choose then your job, you started with something, you need to start practicing it because we want skills. And to do that, we, we have a specific, you know, programs and the activities that needs to be done in addition to your education. So within the Zero to Hero, we decided to always to have three categories. Basic Hero, someone who has no other uh, IT background, want to get full access of the cybersecurity. And then there is Associate Hero who studied IT or cybersecurity is just a graduate, but still he, he cannot access the market. And then the Professional Hero who has experience in the market, but not in a specific domain of cybersecurity, and he wants to access that. So out of our uh, programs, for example, these are existing that happened since 2019 and uh, through the uh, years. Ishmaqsuk, for example, uh, the Jordan Capture the Flag that's happening yearly. Uh, then there is uh, the Middle East Cyber Center of Excellence. So we have Philadelphia Cyber Center. Again, it's about practicing, dual study. One of the very important success stories is happening always with the students, uh, for example, in Princess Sumaya University, the host of this event, is when we do dual study. When we do dual study, we, we learn more about you know, how to access the market. People within the university, in a longer term, before a graduation, one year maybe, they start working on a part-time at the, at the company. A later stage, when they graduated, they will have both their graduation, right, plus their experience certificate, which represents an actual knowing of the business, knowing of job, and knowing of your skills and career. This is the importance of having these you know, skills within you while you are studying at university, so you can access these jobs, you can access these salaries, you know what your job is. This is what we learned my, from my personal journey and from uh, you know, the practices that we are doing today in, in company. And this is based in Jordan today, the program, and we are looking always to have this you know, uh, collaboration with universities, the students, and the market to make sure that immediately anything happening in the market, the need of you know, AI, for example, in cybersecurity, how this will impact the market, how this will impact the job, really to impact directly the students within the university and they know how to adjust their you know, current curriculum studies and, and the material to uh, align with uh, these uh, objectives. Uh, that's all. Thank you. I hope it's beneficial for everybody.